Hey guys, and welcome back. This week we are going to continue uh, looking at pet portraits and, and, and discovering how to construct uh, different things like this from, from photographs. When you, when you construct things from photographs, everything, it doesn't matter if you're making, uh, doing a building or a person or an animal, they're all constructed of shapes and we're gonna look at that. As always, uh, I work with uh, Kraken Fine Arts and I'll put their link in, in the description below. Uh, go check out their stuff and you can get some of my stuff there as well. You can continue to support this channel and I'll put different ways of doing that in the description below as well. Uh, it really means a lot and it helps so much. Uh, paint supplies are obviously not cheap. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like it, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. I'm Kendall Stump and welcome to The Stump Project. Okay, so this week we're going to be painting a, uh, a Yorkie, a Yorkshire Terrier. Uh, again, uh, it's uh, we can look at composition. So you can divide your canvas up into thirds, right, roughly. Um, and, and points of interest are generally around uh, one of those points, one of those corners. I tone my canvas. Uh, with green because I know that the Yorkie is uh, on the redder side so we use green and to see if any of that pops through um, then it will complement the the red in the in the terrier. Uh, chances are that a whole lot will but just in case it does it'll be there. Plus it helps seal the canvas and it gives me a little a little tone to work on without uh, needing to worry about mixing that into my into my paint like we do with some of the other stuff. So on top of this, I put a, an even coat of liquid, this stuff right there. And what that does, it helps to speed up the drying time of the oil paint. So that, and I'll probably be using some cold wax. And that too, that too tends to speed up drying time uh, of paint. Uh, but that with cold wax, something to consider is when it dries, it, it tends to leave your painting with a matte finish. So you will, if you don't want that, you definitely need to oil it out when you're done. Well, once it dries, of course, it has to set. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, I'm gonna use, start using some construction lines. Uh, oh, and just so that you know, this is, this is the picture that we're working from. I chose it because you know, I like the high contrast and it's, it's pretty interesting. And there's a lot of a lot of different things going on. So let's look at how we put all that together. I'm gonna start with a construction line. Like how big do I want this thing to be? And I'm gonna kind of line it up on this on this line over here. Like how big do I want the head? Maybe something like that. When you're, when you're putting things together like this, it's a really good idea to use uh, what I call landmark shapes. Uh, and landmark shapes are like op are obvious objects that you can use as a key point to kind of plan against other things. So for example, um, if I put the nose about here, then I can use that as a guide to put an eye, and I know the edge of the head is here, then I can put the eye about there and use the relative size of the eye versus the size of the nose. And then I can come over to this one and do the same thing and just kind of plot out. I know it's a little bit lower, I know it's at an angle. Now these things, they don't need to be exact at this point. What we're, we're doing is um, we're just kind of sketching out, kind of getting placements of where everything is. And if your drawing skills aren't, you're not very confident in them, that's fine. Like I said, this doesn't have to be you're not trying to sketch out like a Rembrandt or a Da Vinci or anything like that. You're just putting in some guidelines. Like, okay, I know that the nose is going to be here. I know that the eyes are going to be there. And I'm just sketching this on with some uh, titanium white. I'm using titanium white just because it's a dark a background.
Okay, and the first thing I'd like to do is work from dark to light. And I'm gonna work on the subject first rather than put it in the background. So I mix up some of this brown with, um, I use raw umber, uh, some cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium red and some permanent yellow and some cold wax. And when you start this, you're, you're just blocking in color. You're not trying, again, at this point, you're not trying to be exact. You just, that's gonna come. When you, the, the refinement will come. And sometimes your paintings will go through this ugly phase. Like I wouldn't call this pretty at all. Um, and sometimes it'll stay there until you're almost at the very end. Just don't give up. Just keep working through it. You know, as I'm doing this, I'm just stepping my colors, just a little bit lighter, uh, adding adding whites and yellows, and as I as I make these transitions, to kind of hone in on the colors that I want. Again, still just blocking in, deciding where those where those highlights are supposed to be. If I pick up too much of the dark color underneath, I'll just I'll wipe it off with my brush. And for this this dark color here, I just mix some 
uh, raw umber and some ultramarine blue. And I'll just, just trial it on. I'm not too worried about the edges at this point because we're gonna like to paint in some fur and and it'll it'll cover up those edges nice. And this is where you start to refine your your edges as well. Okay, that background part is always most time consuming. Traveling it on, there's nothing fun about it really. It's just, it is what it is. I'm just gonna continue to step and, and uh, step color and value. And at this point, we're gonna start putting in a little bit more detail. So as you are doing this, you wanna make sure you probably keep your brush cleaner and put in the brush strokes more uh, in line with the direction of the, of the fur. And actually, I'm going to, I'm going to save the bigger brush, I think. I like the looser strokes. I like, I don't want to get bogged down in, in, in detail. So I'm just going to continue. You see, and, and this is what I'm talking about here. You see the, uh, pick up some paint on the, on the canvas, or from the canvas. And if I go right back into my lighter color, well, then it's just going to muddy that. And that's not at all what you want. So I start inside and pull out. Because that way if I get any on my brush, if I get any on my brush, then um, I, don't, I don't pull it back in and muddy my, my colors.
Okay, so this, this is a, a rigger brush here. So I'm using this, as it, it, it comes to a really nice fine point. I'm diluting some paint with some uh, um, Otis Marrow Spirits and linseed oil, and just to get a nice, a nice consistency uh, that I can just draw on some, some highlight areas and just kind of bring it down, just kind of get that furry kind of look and if it gets too much like it's you don't you don't want quite that much you can blend it out a little bit and the reason why i do this is because a thin paint will stick to a thick paint Nice texture brush just to kind of blend some of this. You want to make sure that you wipe your brush off every stroke that you do. Don't overwork this because what if you do, you will start to blend it out. And unless that's what you want to do, it's like down here at the bottom, perhaps maybe we want to blend that out just a, a little bit. It's like we did out here at the back. I kind of wanted the shadow just to kind of blend in with the, with the fur a little bit. There you go. And you can continue to refine this as much as you like. Um, I probably will. And uh, I'll post my final image on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, go ahead and do that. So you can see what the final pieces usually look like. Because I tend to work on things after I'm done recording. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this. Um, give it a try. I uh, hope you have pets. And if you don't, um, there's plenty of photographs online if you do. Uh, take a picture of your little buddy and give it a paint. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.